What's up YouTube, Odin here. Now guys, this video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be like a rant video, so this is probably going to be the first of many videos what I do about this. And this time we're going to be talking about early access. Now, obviously guys, this is my opinion. Um, this is what I, 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 I think personally myself. If you guys disagree with me, that's fine. You know, in the comments tell me why you disagree with me. Why, why you think, you know... The state of early access is really good. Because to be honest guys. I think early access as it stands at the moment. Is a pile of shit. I'm going to give you reasons why. So obviously early access came in. And like I, I was pretty excited about that. You know you, you support a game you really love. You know you, you watch it grow. And you know. You, you then get the final product. Which you think bloody hell. I'm glad I bought that. Really good game. Really impressed with it. Now. Don't get me wrong, there's been a few games that I actually do believe that's happened with, for me personally. Um, Grim Dawn is one um, that's coming out, in, coming out of Early Access in February, so pretty soon. Um, you know, that that to me has been a really good example of a good Early Access game. So it's not all bad, but I think it's like, 90, personally I think 99% of the time it's pretty shit. Um Another good one, I'm going to give you the goods before I give the bads, is Lichdom Battle Mage, is another one that I bought, oh God, when it first came out. I mean, it literally was just like a tech demo of what you could do. I mean, it's now like a fully fleshed out game, so that's that's really, really good. Um, there are going to be some good games that I'm actually going to give a bit of shit to, so again, you know, that's just my personal opinion, but um, there's obviously some really shit games as well. So let's get this started with, I mean, let's... Get the big one out of the way, which is Daisy. Obviously, Daisy has now been out for two years on early access. It was supposed to have been released in December 2015 as a fully fledged game. It never happened. And it, it not being funny, it's just a pile of shit. The game is one of the worst examples of early access there is. Um, you know, instead of improving, adding stupid weapons you know improve the zombies with no clipping i mean god there was like a whole a bunch of time when there was actually no zombies in the game so it's just it, the game is a disaster it's the map is way too big um for the for running around on you know you you, you you'd spawn in hungry and thirsty and it, it's just stuck in development hell and you know i think most people have given up like looking at this game thinking it's going to be any good because at this moment in time I don't see it being any good I mean they're planning to release it on Xbox and Playstation 4 God help you know players don't buy it it is absolute rubbish um, you know it is being updated uh, you know on a ba on a regular basis I suppose so I mean there's some really bad games that have been I've been burned on with early access um um, the Stomping Land was one that I got, uh, just like, I don't know what it happened with developers, so that just never went any further, and that just died a death. Um, it's just, there's so many games that just, that you, you, you buy, you think it's going to be good, and it just turns out that, you know, it's nothing. It just turns out to be nothing. Um, another one I can tell you about is, I've got to find the name of it now, I'm going through my list of all my games, I should write these down before I actually had this conversation. The Fifth Day is one of them, another survival game that me and my friends bought, and again, nothing's being done with it, it's just the development has died, so, I mean, we're just pouring these money into these developers, and they're just doing nothing, they're just taking our money and running, and to be honest, guys, it's bullshit, it's absolute bullshit, I mean, there should be some kind of, I, I guess, it's, yeah, it's, I know what you're going to say, it's early access, you take a gamble, but it shouldn't be that way, guys, you know, if you, if you, you, you put money into something you're going to think you're going to enjoy, the developers should at least finish the game. Another one I can tell you about is a repopulation. I, I bought that because it was supposed to be like a, a, a hark back to the old Star Wars Galaxy days. The servers have been taken down. Apparently it's an issue. They don't know when it's going to be up again. Most people think that's just dead. And it's like, I'm stuck with it. I can't get a refund because I've had it for more than two weeks. Again, bullshit. It's just, it's no good. You know, these things. Another game I've got called Frozen State. That That's, you know, it's just... Um, I think that one's still in early access. It's just... Um, it's no... Yeah, early access. And these games are just taking too long to come out. 
um, it, it, it just seems to be a quick way for developers to grab our money and then just basically give us the two finger. Like I said, not all of them are like that, but there certainly is. Like ninety percent of them are just doing that to us, and I, I just it, I just feel it's really really bad. I mean, it's it's just such a sorry state that we've got into this like into this thing where we 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 pay for a game that's not finished and then they don't bother finishing the great game um you know another one is like miscreated is a good game but the development is really slow on that as well uh h1z1 again the development is really slow um every time i play it is not really much like i think that's like got new into the game it's just you know it's just it's just I, i've now stopped buying early access it's got to the point. Me and all my friends agree, um, you know that you know early access is just just not worth it at the moment, guys. It's just it's so it's so sad. I mean, like I said, there is a few that I think have come across and done really good, you know, really well and is good. But some of them are just like they're just sitting there, and yeah, you get a, an update every now and then, but there's not really anything major. It just seems to be they seem to be kicking the heels, where more people are paying money to play the game and there's just nothing being done to it um it's just it's just such, such a shame and you know that's why i made this video because i just felt so strong about the fact that we're just getting screwed over as consumers like totally by these developers and you know steam just like lets it happen because obviously they get their cut so they don't care you know they don't care if a, a game never gets finished and you know and basically it's our problem isn't it because that's the way it works. Is like you buy a game with early access, you you've got to understand that the game might not ever come out. And like I said, a lot of them don't. A lot of them just sit. Like Reign of Kings is another great example. Had loads of potential. They were supposed to do so much with the game. Basically, they did a second map. They added a few more things you can craft, and basically said two fingers. We're done. Um, and released it as a full fledged game. And it's it's just it's not it's not. There's nothing. It's not enough there. Yes, you can play it for ninety hours or hundred hours, building up a base, taking over the kingdom. But that's it. There's not. They've not added enough into it to to, to round it out as a full game. It's, that again, guys. This is my personal opinion. Um, you know the, the the state of these. It's just. It's it is such a shame and. Like I said, that is why I will not be getting any more early access games, guys. I know this has been a bit of a rant. I'm going to start doing these kind of videos, like a ranting series, where I just talk about, you know, stuff that real pisses me off. And, you know, how the developers need to, to wake up and stop doing shit like this. You know, stop taking our money and then not finishing a game. You know, Stranded Deep's another one. That one's been... The Forest, you know. God, how long has that been in development for... You know, it's and again, it's just there's not enough in it. It's like that's why I'm not going to do it anymore. I might as well pay for a fi finished product, then play, not keep buying into these ones where you, you you know you've had it for like Daisy two years and pretty much nothing has been done with it. Um, never, and never is another one. I mean, that had good potential, um, and it just never happened. It just got, it just dropped, didn't it? It's like, oh, by the way, we've released Never as a single player now because, yeah, we can't bother doing anything with it. So, it, it's just, it's crazy, guys. Um, you know, unfortunately, we all fall into that. We look at the early access, think, oh, that looks an amazing game. Um, I really want to get that, and then you have to wait two years to actually play it. So you might as well just wait the two years, see if it's any good, then get it, is my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, that that is that is pretty much what I wanted to say, guys. Um, like I said, I'm sorry it's a bit of a rant. I know I've just kind of ranted for ages. But that's it from me, guys. So it's, this is Chris from The Odin Show signing off. And as always, I'll see you next time.